আর এটা ঠিক যে অন্তত এসএসসি পর্যন্ত তার যেন কন্টিনিউ কারেন্টটা দেয় এটা আমরা সরকারের কাছে আশা করি এতটুকু আমাদের দেশে বিদ্যুতের চাহিদা বেশি আছে কিন্তু উৎপাদন কম যদি সরকার চেষ্টা করে তাহলে আমদানি করতে পারবে এজ ইট ইজ আ মেজর পিরিয়ড ইন দ্য লাইফ অফ দ্য এসএসসি ক্যান্ডিডেটস দে আর ওয়ারিড রিগার্ডিং দ্য ফ্রিকুয়েন্ট পাওয়ার কাট উইচ উইল হ্যাম্পার দ্য প্রিপারেশন ফর দ্য এক্সামিনেশন দে ডিমান্ড দ্যাট the government takes whatever steps are needed to reduce power crisis during the examination shamali vishwash news and images dhaka today is march 6th bengali's pursuit for an independent country took another step towards momentum on this day as bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman decides to deliver his historic speech on march 7th following his historic speech the bengali nation went on an arms battle against the occupant pakistani forces Mariam Imran has more. On March 6, 1971, Yahya Khan went on the air and announced March 25 as the new date for the National Assembly meeting. In the announcement of Yahya Khan, there was not a single word to ease outraged Bengali sentiment. Nor did he make the slightest effort towards reconciliation. On three separate occasions between March 3 and March 24, Bengali members of armed forces approached Sheikh Mujibur Rahman for guidance. In the evening on March 6, 1971, Bangabandhu held an emergency meeting with Amalek's working committee to consider the president's new date for the National Assembly meeting. The Amalek leaders also had to decide whether or not to make the declaration of independence that the people were aspiring for the pressures for this were extreme the discussion had taken up the whole night but the amali was still undecided finally bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman decided to speak out about this issue on march 7 1971 at the west coast maidan now sharawar diwan desk report news and images Human rights workers and acid survivors have demanded stricter implementation of the law against acid violence. They claim that Bangladesh is a role model in terms of formulating the law against it. But sadly, the implementation of the law is far from satisfactory. Speakers at a press conference today claim that corruption of administration enabled the culprits to roam free with impunity. Acid violence is one of the worst ever violence prevailing in Bangladesh. The victims of acid violence consider themselves dead and spend their lives in disgrace. They are shameful of their own faces. Although there is law against the acid violence, the enforcement of the law is far from encouraging. Some blame administration's corruption for this lack of enforcement of the law. According to data presented by the Acid Survivors Foundation, of 1496 cases filed in between 2002 to 2009 only 587 cases have seen final charge sheet ekta kaaj korte jemon chhele apnake taka chhara kono kichu kora jay na amra jara ekdom akromone shikar hoyechi ba hocche tader pokkhe kintu eto taka diye ba eto kichu kore somvab hoy na proshashoner to kono bhumika thake na shekhane nijer ta nijer kaaj korte hoy ebong onader shobkhane holo duniti shothik bhabe kaaj kaaj korchen na bidhay seta ashole implement hocche na ebong aider bichar ta eto Speakers also revealed that some 3000 people have been the victims of acid violence in last 10 years. Of these, some 1500 are women and around 700 are children, with the rest are men. According to the Chief of Acid Survivors Foundation, existence of a law is not enough. What is important is the implementation of law to prevent the violence. আমাদের যে সার্ভাইভার বোনেরা আছে যে ভাইরা আছে তারা কিন্তু একটা বিশেষ করে মেয়েরা একটা মনোবল ফিরে পাচ্ছে নানা ওয়েবসাইটে বাংলাদেশকে কোট করা হয়েছে বাংলাদেশের সরকারের যে এই ভূমিকাটা প্রশংসনীয় তারপরে যে দ্রুত বিচার আইন অ্যাসিড নিয়ন্ত্রণ আইন কিন্তু আসল যে দুর্বলতাটা হচ্ছে যে প্রয়োগ করা বিচারের ক্ষেত্রে এবং নিয়ন্ত্রণের ক্ষেত্রে এটা আমি একটা আবেদন করব যে এটাতে যেন সবাই এগিয়ে আসে In terms of rehabilitating the acid survivors, a number of non-government organizations are working to that end, including the Acid Survivors Foundation. But the NGOs that are working with the acid victims seek cooperation from government and private sector. Desk report, news and images. A parliamentary body on Saturday assured the victims of the recent violence in Rangamati and Khagrachori that the people having ties to the killings and arson attacks must face severe punishment. The assurance came during the visit of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Chittagong Hill Tracks to Gongaram Muk village. 
The five-member team had separate meetings with indigenous people and Bengali settlers in the village where a deadly violence broke out last month. Mohammad Shah Alam MP and chairman of the parliamentary body led the visit. At least two ethnic people and one Bengali settler were killed in the clash in the region that sparked on February 19th. Section 9 of the Constitution assures equal rights of every citizen of the Republic, regardless of male or female. But women inequality in the country is yet to come to an end. Leaders of various women rights organizations have called upon all to bring an end to oppression and repression against women for a healthy society. Male and female are complementary to one another and they coincide in various stages of life. Therefore, it is important that they respect each other. Otherwise, chances are high that discrimination in the society will be more common. Women leaders at today's program have said that all types of discriminatory attitude towards women, including Eve teaching, dowry and rap, should come to an end for a healthy society. <laughs> আসলে তার সঠিক প্রয়োগটা হচ্ছে না এবং গ্রাম আদালত কার্যকর নয় যেটা শালিশের মাধ্যমে সমাধান হতে পারত কিন্তু সেটা সমাধান না হয়ে সরাসরি আদালতে চলে যাচ্ছে এবং আদালতের সংখ্যা কম হওয়াতে মামলাটি দীর্ঘমেয়াদী হচ্ছে এখানে নারী নির্যাতনে যে কমন কতগুলা টাইপ রয়েছে সেগুলোর মধ্যে রয়েছে যেমন অ্যাসিড ভায়োলেন্স রেপ তারপর